So the NCAA tournament, BYU plays Duquesne Thursday, 10.40 a.m. Mountain Time on True TV. BYU's radio announcers, the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, and Mark Durant is tag team partner, a broadcast team that is in their 28th season working together. Did did the Cougs get snubbed in the seeding of a six seed and heading to Omaha and not anything better heading to Salt Lake? The, the, the committee this season decided to throw all their four or five pods in uh, in Friday, Sunday sites or feeding into Friday, Sunday sites in the second weekends. The fact that that's been one strength of Illinois is taking away the three and BYU really needs it. Hey, that, that's looming. But and, and every every breakdown you see puts Illinois as one of the most efficient offensive teams in the country right now, too. Guys, we're going to talk about your tournament histories because the two of you have called a number of NCAA tournament games mm-hmm. uh, in just a moment. Get your keys to... Uh, to uh, to Thursday, uh, I, if you take a look at you know just, just straight up tempo, Duquesne's you know bottom hundred you know yeah. nationally. So they're not, and, and BYU's not like top one hundred, but they're faster. Uh, BYU's a faster paced team. At Iowa State got off to a pretty good start, but uh, when they don't and they're struggling to get back into it, uh, it's more difficult for them. But it, BYU, uh, I think, is difficult to rein in, and uh, that's why they've been successful. I mean. If you're a defensive team and you give up and you're not scoring a lot of buckets, that three point is worth even more than three points because it's just harder for that type of team to get back into the game. So they're going to have to come out if they want to really compete with BYU and try and match them with some of the three pointers and and play a little bit faster. This league that they come, this Atlantic Ten. Um, is a league that has a lot of good guard play. And if, if BYU can get by Duquesne and get to Illinois. That, that that's a tough two-day turnaround for Illinois, who really didn't play a team like BYU in the Big Ten this year. And so that's like the real question mark for our BYU fans everywhere is, I know this team can can win every game they're in. And I know that they can make a run to the Sweet 16 or Elite Eight or Final Four, whatever. They're good enough to. But have they put together four, five, six games in a row where they have shot 35% plus from three? Can they consistently hit the three in this tournament game after game? Or or will they have an off night? Will they be able to find some other way to win? So that's kind of the question for a lot of people. Is It's not that BYU is not awesome and doing great and could win it all. Uh, to get to the Sweet 16 was uh, that because BYU had that. It had been forever since they got out of the first weekend, right? And then the mm-hmm. next year they get the Wofford Gonzaga thing and got to the Sweet Sixteen. That that to me kind of felt like it. Uh, and that was just because he, I mean he kept going and he wasn't. And there was, he shot one free throw, I think. Uh, but yeah, that that went over Gonzaga because I didn't really expect it, and it was so fun to beat those guys. And even though we didn't, BYU didn't win the game. Just getting to the the NCAA tournament in two thousand one was a big deal because Mark and I. Broke in together. I, you know, I called most of the one and twenty-five season, and yeah. our next year together was mm-hmm. the nine and twenty-one. Steve Cleveland's first year, mm-hmm. and now it's the climb back, right from the abyss. And so, just getting to the tournament in two thousand one, uh, winning the Mountain West tournament in Vegas. By- and this season has kind of reinvigorated me, uh, going to all these great new uh, venues and great teams, and how well BYU's played. Because first year in the Big Twelve, you know, playing any kind of postseason would have been great. The fact that you're locked like a month and a half ago mm. in the Big 12, you know, it just kept getting better and better. And then you win at Kansas and like what could even be – and it just kept going. Does the national championship come to the Big 12 this year in your mind? So what, what do you think, Mark? Is, is, is there a Big 12 team uh, that can win the national championship this year? And so I, I certainly can see Houston. I hope Iowa State doesn't because I hope BYU beats Iowa State. But they, they have that same type of team. Uh, whatever you want to say about – you know, juicing the met- metrics or whatever the, the concern is about the Big 12 this year. So I think I think Houston and Baylor are two Big 12 teams out of the South. Like all of these guys, when they look back, even that have had great success in the NFL and in the NBA, um, cherish that time, and I think we cherish it more when we're gone from it. Right? He had Gallagher Iba, and I would have put Gallagher Iba like sixth, right? Because it, it, that's a historic building and a great venue. I mean, it's 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 like Allen Fieldhouse is I think everyone's number one, but there will be a, a few schools competing for number two, and BYU will be one of those schools competing for number one. It wasn't a great environment that night, not a lot of a crowd, and and BYU didn't play great, but then again, neither did.